Hello, wild people. Welcome to AK Wild One. Today, I'm going to talk about how I pack my backpack for a long distance trip. Well, we backpackers have come a long way, haven't we? From the days of John Muir, who would strike off into the mountains with nothing but tea, maybe a blanket, an overcoat, and uh, a copy of Emerson. Or Grandma Gatewood, who would carry her denim bag in her kid's sneakers on the trail. We've come a long way, or, or have we? Anyway, today I'd like to show you how I pack my backpack. First thing you need to know is I'm a little bit of an organization freak. And so I, I, I like to think in systems. So with my backpacking gear, I have my, my closed cell foam mattress, my sleeping bag and clothes, tent, ditty bag, bear canister, and then my air mattress and a few other items. What I'm using today is it's a 68 liter ULA circuit and I used this last year on the PCT. I'll be using it again this year. Okay, the first thing I do is I pack this pouch right here because what I found is if I load everything into my backpack, it, it, it's kind of difficult to access. So in this little pouch here, I want to keep the things that uh, I need access to right away. And so for example, I've got my micro spikes and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my sandals on both sides of the micro spikes to keep them in case they cut through uh, the back, the, the liner here. I've got my rain gear, rain gear tops. I'm going to stuff that in there. Got my Sawyer squeeze and bladder bottle right there. So I want that up. I want, I want to put that in there snug. I don't want it to fall out. All right. So, uh, you know, I, a couple of other things on the outside. On this right pocket, I'm going to have some hydration tablets ready to go. And I'm also going to keep my energy bars here so I can access those for second breakfast and early lunch and whatnot. Okay. My other pocket, my other pocket, I'm going to keep my uh, toiletries in there. Maybe my hand sanitizer, toilet paper, wipes, those kinds of things. So in case I got to go, there's nothing getting in my way. Okay. Then on top, I'm going to put my suntan lotion and also my mosquito net. I don't want to lose that, so I'm going to keep those very close. And then, of course, this inside pocket, I'll put in a, a water bottle. Okay. And then on the left side, I've got my camera clip here uh, for putting in my camera later on. And then, of course, I've got my poop shovel, and I'm going to keep that accessible. So I've got a carabiner, and I get to clank through the forest. So, like I said, I've got my outside pouch filled before I start because it, as the pack fills up, it gets harder to stuff things in there. And here we go. So the first thing I'm going to put in is my sleeping bag and all my clothes. And in here I've got my long underwear, I've got my puffy jacket, I've got my extra socks, underwear, those kinds of things. I'm going to stuff that in this Nylofume bag. I'm sure that makes a lot of nice noise. And this gives it, so I basically got a couple of extra layers of protection in here. Roll this up. And stuff it down here. Make sure it goes very straight. Okay. Make sure it's stuffed really straight and goes all the way to the bottom and it fills up that space really nice. Okay, after I put my sleeping bag in, I'm going to put my, my NeoAir Xtherm right in the bottom between the backpack and the, and the sleeping bag. I'm going to stuff that down there so I can get a little bit of support down here. Okay. So that's flush. That's behind the, the sleeping bag. Next thing. This monster right here, this is going to be, this is my bear canister. You know, as you know from a previous video, I'm a big believer in carrying bear canisters 
mainly to protect bears and other hikers and also uh, they're also good to keep the rodents away and they make nice stools. So I lock this and if I have any gorp or something I'm going to keep that close to the top if I need it. Okay, so we're going to shove this in here. Make sure that gets all the way down. Okay, then right next to it I'm going to put my tent. Loosen up this pack strap a little bit. Okay, nice tight fit in there. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, there's my pack so far. And then the next thing I'm going to put in is my ditty bag. And this includes my toothpaste, uh, my re little repair kit, um, some of my electronics, my battery, char my battery chargers, those kinds of things. So um, I have this little zip bag from Granite Gear. And in it I have all my, all my extra things that I need. Just all those little essentials that, that you always need. I've got my headlight in here. I've got my extra sunglasses, I've got my vitamins, extra camera batteries, those kinds of things, rechargers. So this is kind of my catch-all ditty bag. And it's, you know, it's pretty full, I guess, because I carry some camera gear. Okay, I'm going to put that right on top of the tent because I can smash that down a little bit. Then I'm going to roll it up. All right, make sure I got everything. And then on top, I want access to my foam pad. I use this because it increases the R value and it also protects uh, my air mattress. This is a nice pad to use for siestas. So you can lay down under a spruce tree or something during the middle of the day and catch one of those much needed naps. One of the things you wanna make sure of is after you've had it on the ground and laid on it, you might want to pull out all the spruce needles or cacti thorns or something like that just so it doesn't puncture your air mattress when you use it later. Okay, and then I'm going to put this right on top. And that's going to be cinched down. Okay. I've got a water bottle holder up front. I can also put a water bottle here. I can put two water bottles there if I need to. And then because I like to do photography, I carry this ultralight, cheap, pretty cheap uh, tripod. The reason I like it is it's ultralight, but they have been known to get bad. So I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll put the handle right in here to give it a little bit of extra support. Okay. And so I can still put an, a water bottle in there. That will hold there. So because I like photography, I'll also carry this little fanny pack up front. And uh, one thing I did is I put a little carabiner here on the zippers because I have camera gear in here, like I'll use a little action camera sometimes. And the last thing I want to do is like leave the zipper open, which I did once, and I lost one of my little action cameras in the San Jacinto Mountains, if you've ever found, if you found it. Um, I'd appreciate it if you call me. <laughs> That's okay. That was last year. I've gotten over it. It hurt. Um, but anyway, that's, this is where I put my action camera, uh, maybe microphones, a couple extra batteries, those kinds of things. Sometimes I'll carry my cell phone in here. And I'll carry it right up front here. And people can see me coming from a mile away. Okay, and so that's my backpack. Like I said, I'll put my camera uh, right here on this peak clip, and then I'm ready to go. So I think it's important to develop a, a, an efficient routine for loading your pack. It should stay similar from day to day. What I showed you here is the routine I came up with over 140 nights or so on the PCT, and it worked for me. And I got to the point where I could pack my pack in five minutes, and that was a cool thing. I realize my system may not exactly work for you, but maybe you've picked up a couple of tips. I think the bottom line is you want to keep those things that you need, that you know you're going to need, accessible, and those things that 
you probably won't use until the evening at the bottom of your pack. The last thing you want to do is to be on the trail and completely unload your pack to get to um, your rain gear, for example. So you want to have those things that you think you're going to need, have them accessible, and things that you don't need, have them at the bottom of your pack. For traveling, I really like using these tarp bags. They're relatively inexpensive, they're very strong, and you don't feel bad about uh, leaving this in a motel room before you head out on your trek. And then you can also order them um, right before, you know, a week or two before you're going to be off the trail and have them sent to a post office box and pick them up. Uh, they're actually not that heavy, so, you know, if you have to carry one of these for a week or two, it's, it's not that bad. Um, once you load your pack in here, you got, you know, you can carry it like a little backpack, so that's a good thing. Um, some of the products I showed you today I'll have in, uh, have in the description. Okay. What I really like about backpacking is it's an exercise in unburdening ourselves. We have to go simple and light, and uh, we find there's a lot of beauty in that. Well, I hope this little demonstration helped you come up with some ideas for how you might want to pack your backpack. Um, keep it simple, and remember those things that you're going to need, keep them accessible, and those things that you don't need, place those in the bottom of your pack. And so, until we meet again, live wildly, my friends.